Hi, welcome back. Uh, for this video, what we are going to do is we are going to create a frequency histogram uh, from the data that we had used previously. Um, in a prior video, I did show you how to set up a frequency distribution. We talked about how um, to take all of this data up here and create a frequency distribution. For this video, what we are going to do is we are going to take the information that we have and create a frequency histogram. It is very, very important when you are creating histograms or creating any graphical displays that anybody looking at it would be able to understand uh, what is going on in the histogram. So please make sure that you do remember to include labels and scales. So for this one, what I am going to do is I'm going to label these by the class width. So I'm gonna start with the lower limit of 47 and I'm going to continue to label all of these with the lower class limit. So I have 65, 74, 83, 92. And because we have to go from 92 to 100, I am going to go ahead and do the next class as well, even though it doesn't go into there, that it will just tell you that everything from 92 up until um, right below 101, everything from 83 to 92, but not including 92. Okay, and remember that these represent the test scores. So we always include what this represents. So the x-axis represents the test scores. On this side, what we are going to do is we are going to put the frequency. So that's how often the values occur. So for this one, what I'm going to do, since I go up to 10, I'm gonna count by twos on this axis. So I would have two, four, six, eight, 10. Okay, with a histogram, you want to make sure, it looks very similar to a bar graph. You want to make sure that all of your bars do touch. You do not want any gaps unless you have something missing. So if we had any frequencies of zero, then we would wanna have a gap. Otherwise, we do not want a gap in a histogram. So for this one from 47 to 55, so everything from here to here, we have two that fall in this category. So we would shade this in and that would be our first um, class. For the second one, we would draw a bar up till five. So this one represents everything from 56 up until 65, but not including it. Okay, for the next one, we would go from, there were four in the next category. Okay, next category from 74 to 82, we have a total of 10. So this would be our highest frequency. Um, if we were looking for the mode, this would be the mode of the graph. Um, this is where the most data points occur, is between 74 and 83. From 83 to 92, we would have six. And then for our last category, we have a total of three. So with this, make sure that you notice that there are no gaps in between the bars. Um, the only time you should have a gap in a histogram is if there is actually nothing included in that category. Um, for this one, if you talked about the distribution, this would be roughly symmetric. It is roughly symmetric. Um, you have a little bit more down here, but it's not skewed left or right. So this would be roughly symmetric. Uh, with one mode that occurs between 74 and 83. Thanks for watching.